Hey, welcome to the Pennsylvania Bakery. Uh, my name is Rachel Shank Wilmer. Um, my parents started this business um, 29, almost 30 years ago, uh, and we're located in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, uh, 1713 Market Street in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. Um, so, just want to show you around our store a little bit and some of the products we make. So, come on over here. Um, here we have some of our decorated cakes. So, every day we have a different selection of decorated cakes. Um, that we have easy cakes for people to pick up. Maybe they forgot a birthday or a special occasion and we can write on them for them, personalize them and just a nice selection. There's some more actually over here in the rotating case as well. And you can see there's all different occasions, whether it's for adults or for kids. And then if we move over here, got lots of cookies. Um, we have our tea cookies, which are our smaller cookies on these shelves in the case. And then we also have some decorated cookies here at the bottom. And some cut out sugar cookies here at the top. And then next to it over here, we have our breakfast items. This is kind of our hot spot in the morning. Um, we have Danish, sticky buns, um, pastries down there at the bottom, scones, croissants, bagels, pretty much anything you could imagine for breakfast, we have it here at the bakery. Then keep moving over here, we have a full selection of pies and brownies that we keep in this case. We have our fresh fruit cobblers up here, made with fresh peaches and apples. Definitely a customer favorite. And as we keep moving down the cases, we have our um, selection of mini pastries. This is a, a favorite with, with our customers. Um, it's a, basically a mini version of all of our pastries. And people have the option to maybe take a box with a dozen of them. And then they get a, a little assortment of some of our desserts without having to get a big cake or something like that. And these are easy to grab. They're already pre-cut for everybody. So there's a nice assortment of mini cake slices. Um, if you go down a little bit lower, there's some of our, our mini fruit flans, mini cheesecake slices, biscotti, truffles. Mini eclairs, cream puffs, and cannolis are a big hit. And as we continue to move down the cases, we have our cupcakes. Um, we always have a different selection of decorated cupcakes every day. So, you know, today we have some animals, um, some ninja turtles. It, it varies depending on the day. Um, below we have our gourmet flavors. And again, these are going to vary by your month. We do different flavors that we introduce every month. So this month we have lemon poppy seed, lemon curd, um, chocolate peanut butter eggs since we just had Easter, uh, coconut, carrot. Um, but we always have our staples, red velvet, chocolate, peanut butter. Um, and then we always have a, a selection of just simple decorated swirls and sprinkle cupcakes. As we keep moving down, we have our, our selection of torts. Um, a tort is just a, a fancy way to say a layer cake with different fillings inside. Um, so we always have a different selection. And again, these are going to vary with, with the month and the season as well. Um, we are always introducing new flavors. Um, our most popular is the strawberry tort. That one is uh, layers of vanilla cake with a layer of strawberry filling, a layer of vanilla custard, and a whipped cream icing. So that one is, is a customer favorite. It's been voted one of the Harrisburg area's favorite things for uh, several years in a row. Um, but this month, since uh, we just finished Easter, um, we're having peep tort, we have lemon poppy seed, um, we have a coconut cake that we're offering this month. And then we always have the classics like chocolate mousse, red velvet, um, cannoli cake, white chocolate raspberry. 
So we have a lot of fun with our, our different flavors and trying different combinations every month. And as we keep coming down to the, the last case here, we offer a lot of these cakes in larger slices as well. So here are just a few of them. We have um, strawberry shortcake, carrot, chocolate mousse, red velvet. And then underneath you have um, your large pastries, your large cannolis, your large cream puffs, large eclairs. And then as we keep coming over here, we have some, we offer some Greek pastries. Um, we have some pound cakes at the bottom, some almond pound cake and lemon pound cake. And then we're gonna have a selection of different types of cheesecakes. We have uh, cheesecake that's topped with fresh fruit. Um, we have, you know, a lot of different varieties of New York style cheesecakes over here. You know, ones that are topped with fruit filling, cannoli cheesecake, red velvet cheesecake. Um, I've got a carrot cake cheesecake, um, peanut butter cheesecake, lots of different options. Um, and then as you come up here, we have our uh, fresh fruit flan. So this is a tart shell that is topped with a French custard. And then we arrange fresh fruit on top and it's topped with an apricot glaze. So we have some, some different sizes available here, you know, starting with the 10 inch, the whole way down to just an individual size fruit flan. And they are delicious. <laughs> And if you come over here, we have um, a full line coffee shop. So um, we make espresso drinks, cappuccinos, uh, lattes. We even have specialty lattes that are specific to the bakery. So we have um, a birthday cake latte, um, strawberry tort latte, sticky bun latte, um, drinks that we have made specific to us. Um, and we have a full coffee shop as well. Um, so we can make lots of, lots of good drinks and, and there's a place to relax um, right over here by the fireplace. So. And the screens in the store will rotate through different, different cakes and, and um, special occasions that we've done. So um, if, you're, if you're sitting in the store, there's screens pretty much everywhere where you can just take a look at some of the, some of the work we've done. So that's, that's something that we added just a couple of years ago. So now you're gonna go in the back and you're gonna check out my dad. He's gonna be showing how to do some of the baking for all this stuff we've been talking about. And you're gonna see some of the behinds, behind the scenes stuff back there. Hi, I'm Ken Shank and um, I'm the owner of the Pennsylvania Bakery, my wife and I. Her name is Michelle. We started the bakery about 29 years ago at this point, and we're just back here in the production area, and we were going to just show you some different things that are going on right now, if you don't mind. And um, you know, pretty much right now they're making up some Danish for tomorrow and for the weekend, some large Danish and mini Danish. They're making up different, different sizes, and we make it up a day ahead, and then we'll proof it and bake it. Dave will pull it out overnight and they'll proof it and bake the different things for the orders or for whatever we have going on. This is Junior, this is Christian, they do a lot of the makeup as far as Danish and coffee cakes and French pastry, cookies, flans, we do a lot of different things. But right now we're working on Danish setup and um, production for tomorrow and the weekend. And um, He's making the large snails, he also make um, figure eights out of it. We make some different shapes. Right now he's working on snails. And, um, and then um, we'll fill them with cheese or fruits, um, different fillings depending on orders and what the store needs. And we usually bake everything fresh off at night. And then um, they'll just bake it off and it'll be ready for the morning. We open at 6 a.m. in the morning, so a lot of the stuff we make up the day ahead and that way then it's ready to go for the night shift to come in. And he's making mini Danish. Um, he'll roll these up and they'll be smaller Danish, which will be the same thing. He'll have to cut them. And then um, we're putting the cinnamon smear in the middle right now. And then um, he'll go ahead and roll them up and cut them. And, um,
These are nice for like the mini Danish, mini stickies. We'll use these same pieces for little sticky buns or little Danish. Um, and we'll put, um, of course the Danish will get filled with fruits and cheeses. The stickies get baked in a little pan. Um, you can probably see some of those products in the store at some point that are finished off um, and ready for sale. But it makes a nice little breakfast item for, um, you know, complement different things people have. Um, Bite-sized pieces, more or less, this is. And then Junior over there is doing the larger Danish, where more individual size and things. Can you show them how you cut it, Christian? Show them how you cut it for me, please. And then that way they can see. Then we just cut them in the individual pieces and then we'll tray them up and then tonight we can proof them and bake them tonight um, for the store and for different things, for the stickies or Danish. And, um, try to get the size uniform and things like that is very important and they do a good job getting everything together. But this is our Danish dough. We've already rolled in the Danish dough and um, rolled in the Danish dough and then they just take it and sheet it out and make different things out of it. Coffee cakes, mini Danish, all types of items. And that pretty much will be ready to go for tomorrow then once we get them all trade up and things and depending on orders and whatnot. This is how the Danish dough looks when we get it and we roll it in. We'll roll this in and then um, after they roll it in then they'll sheet it out and then we'll start using it. And, um, usually a lot of different doughs need to be made up ahead of time for production and things. But um, and that'll be it. That'll be good on the mini Danish. Ready to go tonight. And then over here, we're working on some fruit flans. I don't know if you want to see they're working on. That's one of our items we do a lot, arranging the fruit on top of our flan shells. And um, we made up the tart dough and made up the flan shells ahead of time. We have different sizes depending on what you want, the eights and the tens. And then they'll arrange the different fruits on top of the flan shells. And we make up mini ones or little ones or big ones. And then. Um, this is a popular item here at the bakery too. And then um, after they get the fruit arranged on there, then they go ahead and glaze it. He can probably show you that it's in a minute here, but um, they do the different sizes. We have bite-sized ones, this size, then we have the larger ones we do for all the time for the store. And they're very popular for the every, you know, all the time pretty much. It's a nice item for people at parties or whatever to do it. This is pastry cream. We fill the bottom with the pastry cream inside the tart shell. And then um, on top they arrange the fruits and things like that. And, um, depending on what people want, we do the different fruits, but some people specify what they like, strawberries, kiwis. You know, we usually do a nice assortment for everybody for, on a daily basis, we have them in the store. Um, and this is Pedro. Pedro, can you show them how you glaze, glaze the flans, please? 
sorry. I'll Craig just back. <laughs> let them glaze them. This is a glazer, it kind of glaze on the apricot glaze, seals up the fruit a little bit, helps preserve it, and um, does a nice job with making the fruit stay fresh and not get dried out, of course. And that kind of gives you that shine, too, and it's an apricot glaze, you kind of glaze on top. We do that with the large ones and the small ones. You can see a lot of that stuff out in the store, but I kind of wanted to show you some of the production of it as far as how we set it up and how it starts back here, all the steps that are to it. Um, this is a, we mix this dough here. It's a good tart dough. We pretty much, um, you know, we use this tart dough for um, different things, Linzer cookies and different things like that, but it's for our flan shells. It's a good tasting dough. It's not too sweet, but it, it's good for this as far as different fruits. And that's kind of how we arrange the fruit. We'll do different fruits and different types and different variety. A lot of color. And um, just makes a nice presentation for a party or something like that. And we had produced, uh, we had pumped out a lot of whoopie pies today because we have a large order of whoopie pies. So we were kind of cranking them out. We have a depositor that helps with crank, you know, dispensing this stuff to make the size uniform. And uh, a lot of our whoopie pies, these aren't baked yet, these here, but um, these of course beside them are already baked. We'll put them in the oven and then bake them, the rest of these, but there's different types depending on the orders, chocolate chip, white chocolate chip. But most of these are just your old fashioned regular chocolate whoopie pies. Um, these of course have chocolate chips on them. Here's some plain ones down here. And uh, we'll put white icing in them and just sandwich them together, of course, like, like your good old fashioned whoopie pies. And then we, um, we had dispensed them through there. This is our cake hopper. We dispense our cake through here. Pretty much um, just make sure our size is uniform and our cake batter gets into the pans. You can see all the different pans of cake. They were doing sevens, eights, tens, sheets, depending on what size we had to do. And um, so we, that way the, this, the depositor kind of gets the uniform size so we don't have to lay every layer out by hand, but um, definitely it helps with the production as far as that goes. And like over there, he's putting some sugar cookies in the oven, a rack of sugar cookies going in the oven. And um, you know, that pretty much, that's a item we sell a lot of, popular cookie. Chocolate chip's popular, but sugar's a very popular cookie. And then um, we just mixed that a little while ago. It has buttermilk in it. We mix it from scratch. And um, then, of course, he dispensed them just now. And um, now we'll bake them in the oven. Probably about 10 or 15 minutes. Can you see through there, Greg, OK? You want me to open the oven? I can open it up for you if you'd like. And then um, pretty much they'll just bake in the oven. That's about the size we do. We sell them by the dozens, by the half dozens. Um, but that's a popular cookie, especially in this area. People seem to like the soft sugar cookies. Um, so that and pretty much we just made chocolate cupcakes. They just came out of the oven. There's sheets, sevens, eights, all different size layers. A lot of chocolate cake right now. We already did the yellow, but um, a lot of what we produce is the chocolate cakes at this time. So I thought I might as well show you that while it's, well, that's what we're is working on in the production area. And depending on the size and what people order, we have tens, twelve sheets, full sheets. I mean, people order every size under the sun, you know, whether it be a novelty cake or whatever. But um, right now, most of these are just your standard layer sizes that we use for torts and all kinds of stuff. My dad's working on some pies here. Um, working on uh, some fruit pies, crumb pies, of course, um, we're working on. And then um, and a couple in the store. Pies are popular in this area. I mean, especially more that Thanksgiving, but we keep them out year round, different pies. Um, these are, of course, your apple and cherry, which are probably the more popular ones. Um, and we just wanted to show you a couple pies being set up. 
we uh, mix the pie dough and then we press out the shells ahead of time and then we'll come back and make the different variety of pies whether it be shoe fly pecan we use the same size shells and um, we'll punch tens eights this is an eight inch size and we also do a six inch size and um, depending on what the customers want and then um, we do the crust or the crumb or you know whatever people want to order you know specifically we usually keep a variety out in the store on a daily basis for people um, just to, so they can um, pretty much come in and get whatever they whatever they're hankering for that day this is the shoe fly pie which is a popular one of course in the Lancaster area and around here central Pennsylvania um, shoe fly pies are popular the wet bottom shoe fly dad's putting the juice in the bottom there and then um, we um, of course put the crumbs on top and then we'll bake it in the oven um, and um, you get a nice wet bottom in the pie and um, that's popular some people still like it um, some people that you know I, not all the young people like it anymore but a lot of the older people still are, remember it from this area and, um, and the pecan pie is done the same way we put pecans in the shell pour the juice over that for the pecans and then um, you know pretty much that'll but that's a popular, popular pie. Then we have the meringue pies, every, every pie under the sun you can think of. Um, keep that nice wet bottom underneath there and it usually stays pretty moist at the bottom. That's what people seem to like. Most people, they don't want them dry or, you know, But after we use the pie dough, like I said, we mix the pie dough, then we'll punch the shells. We have a pie press over there that punches the different shell sizes, um, whether it be seven, six, eights, or tens. And then um, we can use them with whatever we have to make on a certain day. And here we are upstairs decorating uh, some cakes in our decorating department. Brandon is icing here some cannoli torts. So um, this one is um, layers of vanilla cake. Um, it is filled with a cannoli filling and then you can see he's icing it here with some um, cream cheese icing. He's getting all the corners. He's going to go ahead and get it nice and smooth. And then he's going to finish it off with some crushed cannoli shells and chocolate chips. This kind of clues people into what is actually in the cake. And then this is actually going to get topped with real mini cannolis. And a few dollops of cream cheese on there to finish it off. And there we have a cannoli tort. So here Beth is icing one of our one of our decorated cakes that's going out for an order today. Um, Beth's been with us for oh my goodness, 25, 25 years. So she is quick 
um, at Icing Cakes. Um, and you do most of the icing of, of our decorated cakes. Um, yeah. So while she's doing that, um, every weekend we probably do, I'd say, upwards of, you know, 200 or 300 cakes, depending on the, the time of year. Um, we're in the middle, uh, we're starting to get into cake season right now where we have all the wedding cakes, um, you know, communion cakes, graduation cakes, all of those are kind of coming up. So it may exceed that number a little bit um, per weekend. But this is how all the cakes start out after they're set up. They're iced just like this. And all the cakes are completely custom set up. You know, some of them are just simply, um, you know, cake with buttercream. Other ones have different fillings, different flavored cakes inside. They're all iced up the same way. So did that in probably 30 seconds. That was awesome. <laughs> it's uh, less than a minute. Yeah, that's great. Great. So you just saw Beth ice that one cake. And here is all the cakes that have been iced for Today so far, um, these will be decorated then and we'll see a little bit of that here in a moment, but um, these will be finished off and written on, decorated and then boxed and ready to go out to our customers. And then if you want to move over here, we have um, another one of our staff members, Arlene, is um, doing one of our, our strawberry tour, which we mentioned in the store, but she is filling it with the fresh strawberry filling, um, which is actually has fresh strawberries cut into it. And you can say, see inside that there's layers of uh, vanilla cake. There's also a layer of um, a vanilla custard that we put in there between the other layers. Um, and she's going to put the top layer of cake on here. And then she's going to proceed to ice the cake in um, a whipped cream icing. So this is our, our number one selling tort. Um, you know, these uh, we sell, I'd say, probably a, at least a hundred of these in, in a week's time, um, you know, between the store and, and uh, ordered cakes. This one's gonna get iced on, on all sides. And then we top this one with uh, dollops of whipped cream and then actually fresh strawberries right on top. really have a fantastic uh, staff up here. They do a great job. Um, we've been voted by Harrisburg Magazine um, best place to um, buy a specialty cake for, for years running now, um, as well as best wedding cakes, which are also all done up here. So they have a great staff. Um, they all work very hard. <laughs> Moving it off. 